Thomas Bruce today pleaded guilty to being the Catholic supply store killer. Bruce's crimes captivated St. Louis just before Thanksgiving in 2018 when he attacked customers inside of a suburban West County store. Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes was in the courtroom when Bruce ended his court fight. Chris, tell us more. Mike, five people spoke courageously, sometimes through tears, about how Thomas Bruce changed their lives that November night. One of his sexual assault survivors, who was 20 years old at the time, looked directly at him and said, quote, you will never have the freedom and control you thought you had that day. The defendant only looked down. Thomas Bruce's name has been branded into many people's minds since November 2018. Bruce, now 56, was arrested after a two-day manhunt following sex attacks and a murder at a West St. Louis County strip mall November 19th. He reportedly attacked women inside the Catholic supply store and shot one of the customers who refused his sexual advances. That was Jamie Schmidt. She died. A crucial tip came from a waitress at a next door bar who said Thomas Bruce left her his business card just before the murder. That led St. Louis County police to Bruce November 21st at a mobile home park in Imperial. Bruce's court case has dragged on for three years with the defendant's recent attempts just this month to get evidence thrown out. Those attempts failed and trial was set for November 1st. He pleaded guilty today instead and St. Louis County prosecutor Wesley Bell talked about the courage of the assault victims. But I literally whispered to, to her, I mean, these are my heroes. The courage that they showed, the strength. Um, I just don't know how I could have. I, I don't know what I would have been able to do in that, in those, in, under those set of circumstances. It's just, um, you know, it, it's a, it's a blessing that they're still here, obviously, because it could have gone differently. Uh, but the fact that they were here and they were able to look at him and 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 let them know their truth, let them know how they felt, what they did to him. Um, it, it was an, a, a tremendous act of courage. Three of Schmidt's family members also spoke courageously, including the murder victim's transgender son, who courageously looked right at Bruce, saying how fearless and loving Schmidt was while standing by them six years ago as they transitioned from Schmidt's daughter to Schmidt's son. They looked right at Bruce and said, my fearlessness comes from her. Bruce then sobbed in front of the judge before he heard his sentence, which will be multiple life sentences without the possibility of parole. Live in Clayton, Chris Hayes, News 11.